Chewbacca Thulu Fatagin! Live from the Army of Cthulhu Studio in war-torn Miami, New Zathia, it's General Longstaff! Good evening, ladies and fishmen. I am your glorious leader, General Robert Olmsted, sex symbol and strategic mastermind. This is your nightly for talkin' talkin', your guide to the enraptured euphoria that is life in New Zarthia. We're going to be taking a look at some of the things that have changed since our civilization began over a month ago. One may think that living in a society dedicated to the worship of great old ones would be a radical change. Probably because of this strange misconception that we are some kind of theocracy and that therefore we will limit your religious freedoms. So. Let's start by addressing these misunderstandings. First of all, we are not a theocracy. We are a military dictatorship with a religious agenda! There is a difference, you know. Second, and I want to be perfectly clear, there is full and complete religious freedom in New Zothia. You are free to practice any religion you want, and it's in any religious institution you want, just as long as you worship the Great Old Ones while you're doing it, which sounds perfectly fair to me. We've got more for you coming up after this commercial break. Are you looking for a cozy, family-friendly place to spend the night? The Gilman House Hotel is the destination for you. With clean and comfortable rooms, friendly staff, a pool for the kids to play in, and a complimentary continental breakfast, the Gilman House Hotel is your home away from home. Welcome back, folks. I know that many of you have been distressed due to this silly aversion to having the rotting corpses of your loved ones cluttering your front yard. That's why I prioritized improving our sanitation system with the creation of a weekly corpse wagon. So now you don't have to worry about mother's festering husks stinking up your home. All bodies, of course, will be afforded the fullest reverence and respect during disposal. You have seen just some of the ways we have created an advanced and enlightened society the likes of which Grandfather Cthulhu would be proud of. Well, he would be proud of it if he regarded us as significant and worthy of attention in any sort of way. This has been your nightly for talkin' talkin', and I'm your charismatic overlord, Robert Olmsted, asking you to join us tomorrow where we'll discuss Shorgoths what to feed them and how often. Have a good night, folks, and ee-yah, ee-yah. Ee